Hey guys, I want to show you today how to make topographical line drawings with SketchUp. So you can geolocate a model in SketchUp. Just go to File, Geolocation, Add Location. It's going to bring up this window. This is just a random ranch in the sand hills. Okay, select a region. and we'll just import it takes a minute okay what you get is you get two new tags and two groups one of them is the location snapshot and this is the satellite image projected onto a flat plane and it's at the origin point the center of it is the second one that comes in is location terrain and this is the image projected onto the actual terrain. You can see it's kind of, you know, it's 3D here. So this is a flat plane. There's nothing underneath. And it also comes in at origin. So wherever the center of your window was, that's going to come in at the origin. So where the train goes up, it kind of cuts underneath. You can see the lines disappearing there. So... The way you create topographical lines is you have a plane that runs through your terrain and the line where it intersects is all the same level and that's your topographical line. So we'll do that. So now we have our terrain. The next thing we need to do is get some planes. What we're going to do is draw a rectangle. This rectangle needs to be two things. One is it needs to be bigger than your terrain. And the other thing is it needs to be set below your terrain. So just get it just below. Make it a group. Okay, now what I like to do here is make a new tag called locked. And then move this to that layer. And then lock it. Now the reason I like to do that is because it makes a reference later for when we're uh, making scenes and then you can just delete it or not show it later. Now this is not 100% required but I find it makes it a little easier. So we have a locked layer that's below the terrain. And now all we're going to do is we're going to make another layer on top here. Turn the lock layer off. And then we're going to take this and we're going to use the move tool and we're going to lock, we're going to make a copy in the move tool and we're going to lock it in the blue axis and bring it up here like this and then type in one, let's make it two foot. Just type two foot like that, press enter. And now don't do anything else, press times. 50 times 70. Okay, now what that did is that made copies two foot apart and it made 70 copies. Now you've got all these lines that are all cutting through our terrain. And I'll show you a little bit here. We'll take these and we'll hide them. You can see there, it's cutting through the train at that level. Hide little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Edit, unhide, all. Okay, what we need to do now is select everything, right click and use this function called intersect faces and it doesn't matter, you can do either one of these. We'll go with selection. It's gonna take a minute when it's done, you can highlight these and delete them. Highlight this and delete it. And what it did is everywhere a plane intersected with the terrain, it made a line at the intersection. What I want to do now is turn off the terrain. So we just have the lines. Turn the locked layer back on. 
Okay, now you can see you've got a few more faces. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna use an extension. called selection toys that you should use and you can click select only faces just delete them all that way you don't have to go through and individually select each one okay Let's highlight all that and make it a group and now let's draw a line on top of the locked layer again turn the locked layer off now we've got this one on the bottom and what we want to do is we want to get all of these lines which are th still three-dimensional they still have elevation to them we want to get them down on this plane and what we can do is make this a group we want to use this tool here it's called the drape tool and you find it in the sandbox tools if you can't find that go to view toolbars and you'll you'll find that right here it's sandbox with sandbox tools click drape and you click the the ter the lines first and then it'll Now it turns red. This is what it's going to drape down onto. You click it, and it's going to take a minute. And what this does is it takes all those lines and moves it straight down so that they're now on top of the plane. So instead of having 3D lines that go up and down, they're all on the same level. Now, unless you need them again, you can actually just delete these lines. We'll just hide them for now. Select everything inside this group. Select only faces and delete. Okay, now we have our topographical lines and now they're all on a flat surface. So now what I want to do is I want to put those on a, on a tag and we'll just call those topo lines. Move that to that lot tag. Okay. Now we have topo lines and we have a location snapshot. Now something you'll notice here is that our topo lines are below our location and if you have to if you're using the uh, free version of SketchUp what you can do is just move these vertical you want to lock it in vertical with the up key you get it above now go to the top view you can also do that in camera standard views top and then you want to change your perspective to parallel projection so that you don't have uh, vanishing points. So now this is looking at it like you'd look at a map. And now everything lines up here. So if you, you want to, you can just print this now and uh, it'll show up pretty good. But what I want to do is make this in the layout and to send this on to layout, what you need to do is create some scenes and uh, then you can control the line weight of the topographical map. So we'll create a scene called terrain snapshot. Now this one, we want to we want to zoom extend. So Control Shift E. Now this brings us around. This is where this line comes in handy because it lets us snap to the exact same 
viewport, the, ex the exact same view every time by having this little bounding box around here. Okay, now let's make another scene. We'll call this topo lines. Now we'll turn off the location, turn on the topo lines. Be careful not to move anywhere. Come back and refresh. Okay. Okay, now we're in layout. Now this you have to have SketchUp Pro for. But I'm just going to show you real quick how you can import that and adjust some of the views. So let's go to import. So the first scene we want to bring in is the train. And you want to leave that as raster. And I will render it. Okay. Now press control C, control V. Okay, now come over here. What we did is we copied and pasted it in place. So it didn't look like we made a change, but there's actually two two windows here now. Now we want to change the scene to topo lines, change the rendering to vector and render. Okay. So now what we have is two viewports. The one on top is the topo lines and then the one on the bottom is the just the terrain. The reason we did that is that now if we have the topo line seen, we can adjust the line weight. So now we can make these thicker or we can make them really thin. So you can make that drawing look exactly like you want now. So that's how you can do some topographical lines in SketchUp. Now, as far as accuracy, they're pretty close. Different parts of the country seem to have different levels of accuracy. Um, but I would say they're close enough that you can do some good planning on, but you don't want to rely on it for, you know, making a final grading plan if you're building a feedlot or something. But if you're putting in a set of corrals or building some fence, it's definitely good enough to make the plans for that. And when you work with SketchUp and you work with the train, you can go ahead and modify the train and run the topographical maps again, and you can see what your modified terrain looks like. So that's pretty cool too. But anyway, I hope that helps. I uh, hope it made sense. Uh, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them.